Hello, this video will introduce you the ECTS, European Credit Transfer System. This is something that you see in your, uh, each of your classes with a number attached to this. Could be 4, 6, 3 ECTS for each class. Let's see what it is. First, ECTS stands for European Credit Transfer System. And one of the main objectives is the harmonization of higher education. Let's explain one example so you can understand better. This year we had at Ose University in Istanbul, we have Maxim, a student coming from Amsterdam to study here one semester. And he took a number of classes and end up with 30 ECTS, which when coming to Amsterdam, he could convalidate for his degree in Amsterdam. At the same time, we had Mikhail going from Osu in Istanbul to Amsterdam, and she did something similar. She took a number of classes in Amsterdam, and the credits which she gained, about 30 credits, were transported to Istanbul and were part of his, her degree in Istanbul. One of the concepts of the ECT system is workload. Because credits are based in workload and not in classroom number of hours. So, what is a workload? Workload is the combination of time spent in the classroom plus the time spent out of the classroom. Could be at the library, could be in your dorm, could be at your house. So it's all the time dedicated to one class. Now, what is the equivalence of one credit versus the workload? Well, one credit is equal to 24 hours of workload. Then, if we look at one typical uh, semester, we tend to have 12 weeks of class. If we divide the 24 hours of workload of one credit divided by 12 weeks, equivalents to two hours of workload per week. But classes normally are a bit of more than one credit. So let's, uh, let's see we have a class of four credits, which our rule is will be 100 of hours of workload. Which again, if we divide it by 12 weeks, we end up in eight hours of workload per week. So a typical class of four hours, you might have uh, two hours in the classroom and you should dedicate six plus hours in your own library, dorm, home, etc. If we have a class of six ECTS, then with the same calculation, we'll end up in 12 hours of workload per week. Normally, this will be like a three hours of class plus nine hours of your work per week. And how do, we, do you make your whole degree? So normally you will take around 30 ECTS credits per semester, which equals to 60 ECTS per year. And normally you will be four years at the university, ending up with 400, uh, sorry, 240 ECTS. So as a summary, we can say that this ECTS system is an European system, which aims harmonization. So Maxim could come to Istanbul and Mikhail could go to Amsterdam and taking classes which are part of their own degrees. And because this is based on workload, which is different to uh, class hours. Thank you very much for listening.